my family uh, first arrived here from the refugee camp in Malaysia. It was the principal who first uh, uh, took my brother and I under his wing. And Mr. Marshall, he recognized that uh, both my brother and I need to feel welcome, to need to feel safe and secure, need to know that uh, relationships are important. And so I always keep that in mind as I work with the students that I serve uh, over the last number of years is uh, you know, when I look into the students' eyes and say, how can I help? I can tell you right now, given where we are as a society and as a world right now, I can say with confidence that all students are at risk in some ways. And it's not just one student, it's not even two, not even three. Sometimes a significant demographic of your classroom is feeling that trauma, right? And that sense of brokenness, loss of homes, loss of loved ones, and the, the trauma of, of having to flee, and then the institute trauma of being in refugee camps and coming here. All those are layers and layers of trauma that really just requires a lot of time, a lot of work a lot of patience, a lot of humility, a lot of compassion. The school that I serve, it is at the uh, heart of Winnipeg. We have uh, a significant demographic of students who are underserved, large populations of demographic of students who are newcomers, and many of them are refugees. We also have 47% uh, of our students are indigenous, and they are either urban indigenous students, or many of them uh, have come from northern communities and rural communities as well. Being where we are in the inner city of Winnipeg, and there's always going to be physical needs. My concern is more in terms of like the social, emotional, and the psychological. You need to meet these learning outcomes, and yet at the same time, those outcomes need to be achieved within the context is that our students need to have that sense of health and well-being in terms of the social, emotional sense of who they are, so then that way they can be in a healthy space to learn. When that gets added to the work as well, then somewhere along the line, you feel really stretched and overwhelmed. I felt that Mr. Marshall needed help. That's his impact, and that his legacy lives on with me. He demonstrated for me what love looks like in action, and that is what defines for me the work that he did with me, and it continues to be a crucial anchor and a north star for me. The work of teaching and leading is hard. The key thing to understand is that this is not a job. This is a, a, a call to serve. My name is uh, Vin Hyun, and I am uh, the principal here at Gordon Bell High School.